Hey guys, welcome to another episode of SDI TV. Today we're gonna go and talk about our universal kit. What we did is we installed our universal software on our JLG. One of the main reasons is, is the shift knob and where our controller is, it's easy for everybody to see. When you go and take our universal kit and add it to a Fox, a King, Bill Stein, whatever shock you have, um, we have a generic algorithm, but it's important that you fine tune it and get the electronics set up for those shocks. What we're gonna do today is walk through each step to make sure you get the most performance out of your universal kit. All right, so this is the universal software put onto our JL, so it's nicely on our shift knob. First thing to do is we've gotta make sure IMU sensor is zeroed out. What we're gonna do is we just hit the output screen, swipe over, and you can see our IMU right now is at six and one. Well, we are parked unevenly right now, you want to make sure your Jeep or whatever vehicle it is, is on level ground and both of those are at zero. That's going to give, make sure that the algorithm is working right. Our next step is we're going to click back, go to mode. And for today, we're going to work on road mode. We got to go and set the rear and the front fine tune to get the shocks in the best spot. The easiest way to get there, we just hit the home button, go to settings. Well, the first thing we actually need to do is we want to turn off the active attributes so we can just concentrate on how the shocks are working. The easiest way to go and do this is hit pro, pick one of the menus. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn down all of the active pro menu items. I'm basically zeroing all this out. Then what we want to do is we can swipe back down and we'll pick front. And now we're gonna go drive the Jeep, hopefully find like a half decent, you know, bumpy road that's got maybe some G outs and some different obstacles. And we're gonna go and fine tune, just like if you had a shock that had clickers, you're gonna find the best settings, front and rear, just sliding back and forth to where you feel the Jeep rides the best. Now that we found that good road and we basically figured out that the rear we liked in the middle position the best and the front we actually liked it with one one click a little bit stiffer as we add all the act, active attributes it's best to always go one or two clicks softer than what your favorite was that way you're able to get a little bit softer of a ride when you're just in a straight line and nothing's really happening and let all the active um, pro menu items pick that up when you need it. So now that we went, and this is gonna, what we're gonna call our baseline for front and rear, we can swipe down and we're gonna get back and go to the pro menu. And the easiest way to start with the pro menu is basically go ahead and turn everything back down or back to a center setting, which is our base algorithm and it's the most universal and the universal kit to try to work with every vehicle. Now that we went and have everything back to normal, we can go ahead and drive the Jeep. And what I suggest to do is every one of these to go and fine tune it. Like one of the ones that's very important is brake sensitivity. If you go and you hit your brakes hard and you feel the front diving way too much, go ahead and turn it up and test it, try it, try it full stiff. That might be too much. If it doesn't dive at all, then you know in bumps, it's gonna probably be harsh and not compliant. So you wanna find where brake sensitivity gives the shocks enough control not to overdive, but to just dive enough to where you know the shocks can absorb the load. Another really important one, and one of my favorites about tuning the suspension is turn sensitivity. You know, uh, we're in a Jeep right now and everybody sets their Jeeps up to be very loose, soft, compliant on trails, but on the road, they handle horribly. And when you go to turn, the Jeep completely leans over. This is gonna be your favorite new menu. Basically what you can go do on the road, find a corner and play with it. You know, a little bit of body rolls okay, but what you can do is turn up or down the turn sensitivity and feel how the active system adjusts and makes the Jeep more stable and more compliant in those turns. If you want, go ahead and try it with it full soft and also try it for full step. That way you can really feel the difference. 
without compromising the whole ride in a straight line. This is only going to affect it when you're turning. And you can basically go and fine tune this to whatever works best on your vehicle. Remember on the Universal Kit 2, there is actually a couple cool extra settings to fine tune and to make this system your own. Um, we're going to go back to the main settings one and click up one, rear load. So right now we're at 75%. If you're overlanding, you have a bunch of weight in the back or um, hauling a trailer, you can adjust this. When your vehicle's back light, turn it back to zero. Now you're completely back to normal. Another cool feature to customize the system for yourself is go ahead from the main menu, hit the home button, click up one, go ahead and hit the sun. You can adjust the screen brightness. Go ahead, if it's too bright or too dim at night, just go ahead and click that and you can change the brightness easily. So remember, with the Universal Kit, the beauty of it is it's so easy. Everything's at your fingertip. So go ahead, try things, experiment. If you think it's too much, you just click it back. It only takes a second. You don't have to get out of your car. It's simple. If you really feel like you get lost, there's always you can go in the menus and hit the reset button and start from scratch again. But the big key is try things. It only takes a second to switch it and you can get the best performance out of your vehicle that way. If you do have any more questions or want more information, our website's loaded with it, as long as also with our YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing more and more videos about this. So Dan Worley here, enjoy your universal system and have fun.